In this video, we're going to be looking at a default attack strategy to take CC and cash on Clubhouse. To start, we're going to understand what power positions CC cash has to offer. That way we can understand how we're going to take map control and why that makes us successful. So let's start by looking at a pretty default defense setup for CC slash cash. Assuming that Thatcher's banned, because he always is as ranked games, we're going to have OMI and Raptors hold. This allows him to hold garage and uh, play across onto the breach through this line of sight right here. Additionally, we're going to have a Maestro, or really any sort of intel out, but Maestro is good because his gadget's bulletproof. He'll be playing a cache and he'll have an even eye that can watch the breach and also watch default plant. And then his other evil eye will be somewhere in garage. We'll have a Jaeger or someone roaming around master side. We'll have a Cade watching red because Cade's really strong, especially for this site, for denying the wall. And then we'll have a smoke with his deployable set on cubby door. While this setup will look different from team to team, the rough setup of reinforcements and rotations is pretty accurate for the default that you'll face in ranked. When considering the attacking strategy, it's helpful to start with the end in mind. So as most people know, right here behind the server rack is your default plant, but let's understand why that is. With breach open, it's a straight shot to pretty much run back behind the server, and as long as your red stairs player isn't on it, and as long as there's no one in cubby door, you can basically run right behind the server rack and it's a free plant. The only thing that can dine that are C4s from below, or a Raptors player, or if you have a good smoke or nitros that can be thrown across the wall. Knowing that those things are able to counter this default position, most attacking strategies are built by countering those items and taking the position going for a plant because the post plant's pretty strong. There are a bunch of angles you can hold this from. You can hold it from platform, you could play below, you could hold it from rafters, you could hold it from CC window even. And of course there are all these repels on platform. So how do we go about getting a position where we can plant in the default rank spot? Well the first step is to open the breach. We have to get rid of these reinforcements because that allows the line of sight straight onto this position. And if there are any defenders playing here, they can be cleared out and moved away so that I are forced to play in cash, in red, or garage. With the CC wall open, it's pretty untenable to play anywhere in CC, especially if you have someone that can apply pressure from the window as well. That allows you guys to get across and like I said, it's just very uncomfortable for defenders to play in CC. The next item we have to take care of is the Raptors player. The Raptors player has an easy cross through the line of sight to deny a push-in, to deny the plant, and to make calls for smokes and nitros, as well as Meister's evil eye. So we have to get rid of the Raptors player if we want to do this successfully. Once we've opened the breach and cleared the Raptors player, then someone is able to run in, and as long as we have angles that can deny cubby door and red stairs, and we've cleared the utility that could deny plant, then we're ready to execute a plant which provides a strong post-plant position for us. With the context established, let's now look at how we're going to perform this attack, reminding ourselves of the three priorities. We're going to open CC wall, we're going to clear any Raptors player, and we're going to remove CC of any plant denial utility. This allows us to run in from platform, get the plant down, and hold the plant from either CC window, platform, Raptors, or even below. So for this strategy, assuming that Thatcher's banned, we're going to run a Maverick, an Ash, a Zofia, a Nomad, and an Ace. Now as you get into higher levels of competitive play, some of these ops might be banned, but this is just a general default strategy to build from. So let's start with objective one, opening the main wall. With a Maverick, this is pretty easy. You can simply map trick the main wall, and Zofia can blow it open. With that done, you already have the, the first step completed. and Now you have this wall open and can hold that angle. With the wall open, the second step, and probably the hardest, is clearing rafters. This is because in rafters there are a bunch of different positions you can play that are pretty well covered, and especially with a Mai holding this, it's very hard to nade this person out. You have R1, R2, R90, R3, and the window. And of course you can move between any of these positions pretty much all the time as long as there's not a constant crossfire. So the key to removing this player is actually performing a crossfire. To successfully remove the Raptors player, the team has to simultaneously perform a crossfire on all possible playable positions that the Raptors player can take. This means denying R90, R3, R window, R2, R1 all at the same time, and once you've denied the playability in these positions, making sure that while he's moving, trying to rotate, you cut him off. So let's look at how we're going to do that. As with setting a plant, it's helpful to start with the end in mind and work backwards. So we're going to look at what these crossfires typically look like at a professional level and work back how to set them up. For starters, once the breach is open, Sophia can hold an angle through the line of sight into R90. 
This means that the Raptors player can't play an R90. If you have an ace, use a Selma at the top of the R1 wall. He can actually get an angle onto the R window, onto R3, and onto the rotate. If you have an Ash, blow up the top of the lounge wall. This allows her to get a crossfire onto R1 and R2. The last piece of the puzzle is Maverick, because once he's opened the breach, he's pretty much free to use his gun and his nades, so he can come in through the garage door and nade any one of these positions in order to push the player out, as well as performing the crossfire with the rest of the team. So, just to repeat that, Zoff is going to watch from CC platform straight through the line of sight onto R90. Ash will be below, even though this blueprint doesn't show it, opening the top of lounge wall so you can see onto R2 and R1. Ace will open the top of the R1 wall, which allows him to see R window, R3, and a little bit of R90, but really it's just the rotate. And finally, Mav can just swing garage door, allowing him to apply pressure to all the spots at the same time once the intel's had, as well as using his nades to clear him out from behind the little walls on the rafter positions. It's important to note that while ideally we want every single person that participates in this crossfire to come away from it, sometimes in reality we might just have to accept that we get the refrag and take rafters, and that's okay. The important thing here is to note that as long as you swing together, you're able to get the refrag because of all the crossfires had. Based on that, it is worth mentioning that you shouldn't just take part in whatever your swing is without the rest of the team participating as well. If Zoff doesn't have the rest of the team ready to push all the rest of the crossfires, she shouldn't be holding the angle on R90. The real strength of this execution comes when every single person applies their part of the crossfire all at once, which is why, as the last person to get in position, the garage door player should probably count it down as they're going to be taking the most aggressive gunfights, as they're swinging basically into the open and just hoping that if they die, one of the teammates will get the refrag. So with the second step established, let's look at how we get in position for that. While Mav and Zofia are opening the wall, Ace has enough time to rotate around, position himself outside the R1 wall, and start to open the top of it. If there's denial on the wall, then right after Mav is done tricking the wall and Zoff is just about to open it, Mav can rotate across the roof and down, clear the denial, Ace will be able to open the wall, and then Mav can rotate around a garage door. Meanwhile, outside first floor, Ash and Nomad should stack up outside stock. Nomad will drone in Ash, who's able to take stock, and then lounge. Once lounge control is established, both Nomad and Ash should take lounge with an air jab inside bar to prevent defenders rotating through bar, on secret to prevent defenders rotating upstairs secret, and finally on the wall on bottom red. This prevents defenders from rotating down bottom red. It is important to note that with this air jab, defenders can still push almost all the way down and get a line of sight. So while Ash is working, Nomad should be holding this angle to protect her back. With this established, Nomad will continue watching this angle, protecting Ash's back while she blows open the top of the wall. At this point, while the other players get in position, Ash and Nomad should both play back so that they're out of the line of sight of R1 and R2, because the angle does go both ways. Now that the attackers have cleared rafters, Sophia should main the crossfire so that they're able to take rafters and maintain this map control. Ace should vault in bottom garage through the R1 breach that he made while Mav walks in through the garage door. Both of these positions should be protected because Ash and Nomad have lounge control. However, once they're in garage, coming up rafter stairs can be a little tricky. This is because there's an angle, and a long angle, mind you, from either cubby door or from the green box, where if you open a little bit of the soft wall, and this diagram isn't exactly correct because the wall's really more over to this side, but essentially there's a long angle you can watch from either cache or cubby door going through this line of sight on the wall into rafters from CC that allows you to deny about one third up the, uh, the rafter stairs. This angle is very dangerous because we could lose two players here right easily, and assuming that we've only cleared one player, that still leaves the defenders with a man advantage. To counteract this, right as Mav and Ace are about to push up the rafter stairs, Ash can use her remaining breaching charge and apply it in such a way that if you put it right on the cubby door, you're actually able to get a line of sight straight up through cubby door in such a way that you can deny the person playing this angle. This means that Ace and Mav should be able to somewhat safely walk up rafters. There's still the issue of the green box, but as long as Mav and Ace are both aware of this angle, they should be able to hold it, pre-fire it, and at least get the refrag if one of them does die. This is the most risky part of this strat. Now it's time to execute part 3 of the strat, that is, getting control of default and getting a default plant down. As a summary of the map control we've established up to this part, Ash and Nomad have lounge, Ace and Mav have garage, Sophia has platform, which essentially makes CC sort of a gray zone that's very difficult to play in. That does mean that the rest of the map all of this is still pretty much playable to for defenders. So as with everything up to this point, it's going to be, have to be a team execution. No one individual can just play without informing their team of what they're about to do. 
Before any actual on-site execution occurs, it is important to take this time with the map control, and hopefully time has been managed well, to drone out the site and identify any pieces of utility that the defenders have brought that could effectively deny a plant. That could be an evil eye or a smoke with a shield. Whatever it is, these items are going to have to be cleared. Ideally, Mav should still have at least one nade because he might have used one to clear the Raptors player, but if the execute is done completely well, Mav could actually have both of his nades right here because you don't technically need a grenade to clear this Raptor spot as long as the, uh, the crossfire is set up well and everybody holds their angles exactly where they need to be looking. So at this point, let's assume that Mav only has one grenade. Sophia should have, uh, again, worst case scenario, she used one impact on the wall and maybe this is only a line of sight, but they need to rotate, so she'll use her other impact here. She should still have two stuns. Uh, Ace might have, uh, I assume he only has Claymore and Breaches as of the latest update. And we'll assume that, again, worst case scenario, Ash has already used both of her breaching charges, meaning that at this point, Zoff stuns and Mav has one nade to clear the rest of the utility. So Zoff should at very least stun into here in order to clear Cubby, clear anyone playing it. If Ash has breached this, then the shield should have collapsed. Uh, I'll clear the regis for clarity. And we'll assume that there's a Maestro Eye right here. If there's a Maestro Bubble on these stairs, Mav can clear that with his torch. That's pretty easy. But, of course, this, this Maestro Bubble in CC is still a challenge, so Zoff should use her remaining stuns to clear this area and test for any ADSs, and Mav can throw an aid here. It is going to be a little bit of an overextension because he's going to have to actually swing out to get this angle. And that can be a little bit risky. So they should time the stun just at the right point so that as Zoff is stunning this, Mav is reaching out to throw the grenade because this provides a little bit of protection as defenders will most likely be turning away from this at the very least recoiling a bit. Now, let's assume we've successfully cleared the site of all plant down and utility. Then Sophia can hold the cross on the cubby. Mav or Ace really, doesn't matter can run in and get the plant down while the remaining one rotates the position to cover. So we'll have Mav go in here, Ace will be uh, watching. And ideally Ace should be watching red, just to, just to be clear. So Ace is watching red, Sophie is watching cubby door. And if you want to get a little extra spice, down here on first floor, we can have Ash slowly move up red stairs as all the site execute is happening, because it's likely as the plant's going down, they're going to be less concerned with red stairs while Nomad drones her up. So let's summarize the strat up to this point. During the prep phase, we're going to place a drone in bottom garage as well as in stock. This allows Ash and Nomad to take stock right away, as well as making sure that when the four-man rafters clear happens, there's not going to be some little rat in Harry Potter, because it is ranked and it could use some exterminators put it at the least. As soon as we got out of the prep phase, Mav is going to Mav trick the CC wall, at least the panel that allows Sophia to get the line of sight onto Raptors 90. She's going to play passively on Raptors until the rest of the team is in position. After Mav has opened the wall and Sophia has stunned it, Mav is either going to rotate to R1 to help Ace or directly to Garage Door. Let's assume worst case scenario that he has to rotate to R1 and clear denial. Ace is going to be waiting out there, so Mav will clear the denial. Ace will open the top of the R1 wall and Mav will rotate to Garage Door. While all that's happening, Nomad is going to drone Ash into Stock and then into Lounge. Once Lounge Control is established, Nomad and Ash will both take Lounge. Nomad will set up Flank Watch onto the Bar Door, onto Secret, and onto Bottom Red. Then Ash will open the top of the Lounge Wall. Nomad will watch back Red. And at this point, the team is in position to swing. So Mav will give a countdown, and at zero or whatever you want to count down, typically I go three, two, one and then call swing and everyone will swing. And at this time, Zof will watch R90, Ace will watch R3, R window, and a little bit of R90, really onto the rotate. Mav will push in, get across onto basically everything, uh, which is why it's the riskiest position for him. And of course, Ash and Nomad, well, Ash will watch R1 and R2, Nomad will watch Ash's back. This is the most complicated and most dangerous part of the strat, is taking rafters and actually getting up into rafters. Once Raptors is clear, both Ace and Mav will move to lower garage and prepare at the bottom of Raptor stairs. As this is happening, Ash will breach up into Cubby Door, making sure if there's a player watching the long angle from Cubby Door onto the Raptor stairs that they're at very least pushed back, providing an opportunity for Ace and Mav to move up to Raptors. And assuming that this is pretty default, there will be a reinforcement here and at worst a rotate, meaning defenders could still push this, but Zoff will be watching the crossfire from platform onto both these doors, so no one should be able to play at CC in this point. Mav and Ace will position themselves outside the breach, ready to go for a default plant. 
Zof will watch red, while Ace watches Cubby Door. And I know that I did flip this. Really, it can be either way, depending on how you want to set up the crossfires. I figured I'd present it both ways, that way you know the options, but just decide beforehand. And at this time, Mav will go in for a default plant. While that's happening, Ash will be stealthily sneaking up red stairs with Nomad droning her. And at this point, if you get the plant down, then Ace can play in rafters, Mav can try to retreat back if that's possible, and Ash can just maintain red control. CC is a very strong post plant for attackers. It is really hard to mess this up, so if you do, your team kind of sucks. Just throwing that out there. And uh, that's a default CC attack. I didn't want to leave this strat without a demonstration, but given that this is really the first time I've prepared this and my team hasn't before this exact strategy, 100% all the way through. I do have a little bit where you can see the setup and the rafters clear and after that the team just kind of threw the round. So I'll include that clip here that way you can see what a typical rafters clear looks like. Any Ubisoft servers? I will. Let's just hope that he comes back and can watch flank drones, so just save your drones if you can, set up in good spots. They suck, I don't need them to I say that, but now I'm gonna die because I don't have a Nomad. Yeah, for real. Okay, so what, what should happen is while Madala's pushing in, one of us should be on his flank cam. Uh, I've got one on main door. They open construction hatch. You guys want me to open bottom garage? R2? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. R1. R1, not R2. R1, R1. R1. Careful of spawn peaks. Garage is good. Make sure you're not spawn peaking. They're gonna be bandit tricking those punch holes. That's fine. Yeah, they're bandit tricking. Pocket strong like Claire. Time to reach. Yo, Val, Val is in the car right now. I got R1 open. Do I need to swing this? Hold R1 when aggressively or what? Uh, no. Alright, I'm gonna check your main door. Your main door is clear, Manola. Nice. Opening. Okay. You know who you killed? Alright, Tron, you gonna play on flat? I will be. Okay, okay. So Alright, I'm going to the uh, garage door. So I'm going to just uh, play back, play back, Cody, so I can help you. I'm long right now. Super We're not low, shooting dude. defaults, guys. What the fuck? What defaults did we not shoot? Drone ready. Yes. Okay, your bottom is good. Uh, our window. Okay, uh, can we have on. anyone drone rafters? Oh, no. Okay. Smoke's playing on that DB that I just made. Okay. That's See the fine. smoke from here. Harry Potter yeah, is I can totally swing the here. fuck out of, uh, out of sight right now. Okay, just wait, just wait. Let's go to Raptors first. Let's go to Raptors first. Rooney, stop Raptors. Okay, alright, is everyone ready in position to swing? Drone. Okay, Cody, you're going for R window and R3. Uh, trying to look at uh, R90. Yep. Okay, alright, everyone ready? Yep. Ember in position. Uh, I'm good. Yeah. Three, two, one, swing. Go! 90, I'm dead. Okay, that's fine, Cash. I gotta refresh. Bottom, bottom right, bottom right. Okay, okay. I'm gonna throw a drone there. One just pushed back into CC. Okay, I shot it, I shot it. Bandit lounge, bandit lounge. Dead. Nice. Hoax in CC. Okay, uh, can you clear that? Yep. Do you have a flank drone you can push? Uh, actually, I'm gonna... I'm gonna One in bar. There's a Valken bar. There's a Valken bar. Oh, yeah, yeah, bar, bar. Then you have flank cam here. She's in lounge. Come on, can you take guns up? Peeking, peeking. Peeking yeah, one. Garage door. Bottom red. Garage door. She's on seeker. She's on cam. cam. What the fuck? Okay. Okay. okay no, got off she's cam. On cam. I got. I got the call. On bottom red right now. Moving up. Like... No. Entering garage. Entering garage. Yeah, she's bottom garage right now. Nice. Let's go. He's fucking better. Oof, oof. 